Today in the hot seat, we do have a couple of FIFA content crazy. It is Spreadsheet Josh and the Penthes. How are you both doing? Hey, if yeah, I tell not you too what, bad. It feels good to be the, the contestant and not the guest this time around. Yeah, you've actually <laughs> yeah. chosen who to be with uh, for once. Um, so yeah, you've, you've chosen Josh. Is there any, any reason why you've chosen Josh? He is the second most intelligent man in the FIFA community. Who's number one, Nep? Who's number one? Well, obviously, <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> obviously me. Well, yeah, we'll see about we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, you know, after the recording. Um, yeah, you've done relatively well both times, to be fair. Um, and that was with Haber. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's there's some uh, parts so here. Obviously, we're in uh, week week four of Shapeshifters, which is uh, a bit strange because you don't usually have this long of a promo. Uh, how are you both uh, enjoying it? It's a it's a it's a bit of a weird one for me. Like, I enjoyed the first week because the upgrade grind from like Monday to Friday was so fun bronze pack in into the silver upgrades into those 75 by fives and it was like well if you get this every week then it's going to be great this is going to be an awesome program i could do this for the rest of the summer and then it was just like they went okay here's you one week and then the next three will take off and that, yep. it's just been a bit of an an odd one and every card is in this either insanely expensive or really cheap and there's no middle ground really and I, it's, it's just a tough one to really engage with yep i agree I think like they could have been a bit more fun with it as well. Like I wanted some like uh, Campos the hero, move him up to striker, put Carl Walker in goal, things like yeah. that on the fourth week. Because like at this stage of the game, it really you know just whack anyone anywhere. Yeah. Uh, we've you know most of the changes are like a winger to a striker or a centre back to a right back, and you could just do that anyway. Yeah. And play on seven cam, so it's not yeah. like a major move from EA, but uh, or a CDM know. to a cam in the case of yeah. Kante. Kante. <laughs> yeah, which which is really not necessary in a way because it's not like you know you can't just do that. You know the stats on the card are all that really matter at the yeah. end of the day with a central card. Um, but yeah, there's been there's been some fun ones. What what are your uh, favourite so far? Is there any any ones that stick out? Really, mate. Honestly, I've like I played with a whole bunch of them through draft. I I tell you what, that tyranny is genuinely like his winter wild card was insane anyway. But I think he's the best centre back in the game. Um, yeah, and alongside uh, Mukiele. Yeah, Mukiele is also very, very, very Ooh. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really like that hero's Cole as well. He's He's been brilliant for me. I cannot believe he's under 300k. Yeah. How wild is that? Shall we, shall we get in some questions then for today? Sure. Yeah, let's S do it. Since that's what we do here. Uh, okay, 15 questions, three lifelines possible, 100,000 FIFA points. Best luck, Josh and Nep. Let's play. Who wants to be a FIFA millionaire? Question number one. It's for 100 FIFA points. Which of the following Microsoft programs are best for creating a spreadsheet? Is it PowerPoint, Word, Outlook, or Excel? I think it's Outlook, but I know that Josh is like spreadsheet Josh, so I'll let him answer. Yeah, I was going to say, I've got this one. I'll let you mull through the answers so, you know, you can you can decide. But I, I think, I think it's Excel. Oh, I don't know. Are you sure? I mean, if it's not Excel, then I really need to change my name because I can't... can't go around call myself spreadsheet josh anymore because that's just Fair i enough. think it's uh, excel listen we'll go with him uh, you know uh, we'll see if he's right and that is the correct answer well done. you have uh, excelled with that question don't oh, that's oh, bad, isn't it? That's cool. no, i'm glad you like that because i didn't that's cheap that is well you know we've got a good outlook for the rest of the uh, hey, show now. hey word have a, have a word <laughs> <laughs> question number two is for 200 FIFA points, which of the following religious figures signed for Arsenal last week? Is it Pope, Saint Nick, Jesus, or the Dalai Lama? Oh, God. Solid right wing of the Dalai worse Lama. Worse, don't yeah. <laughs> a Pope's a good one, but couldn't you have found another, like... I was, I was, I was going to go Saint Max for... Yeah. Instead of Saint Nick, but I don't know if there is actually a Saint Max. Or well, Saint Max, I mean, it's good enough, isn't it? Oh, yeah. like a real Saint... Oh, yeah, it still would have been all right. Like, yeah. Should we just move on yeah, to the next probably. question? <laughs> what, what, what do we actually points? have to answer it? it it's Jesus that is the correct answer well done uh, incredible side for Arsenal for yep. saying that you haven't got Champions League alright and... alright next question come on <laughs> it's unnecessary no, like, like for him to drop you know in yeah, the statue, keep digging yeah. mate come on but Jesus was there for the poor wasn't he he was <laughs> so question with three it's for 300 FIFA points. Which of the following Manchester United players has Eric Ten Hag decided to be the captain for the upcoming season? 
Is it De Gea, Bruno, Cristiano Ronaldo, or Harry Maguire? Harry Maguire! Rather unbelievably, he stuck with Slabe, doesn't he? Yeah, he has, yeah. yeah. He said he was very successful. As far as I'm aware, the only successful things he's got is two relegations. That's pretty successful, though. That's more than you. So, I mean, if that's what you're aiming for. Can I, can I no. just ask something, by the way, Luke? I've never been paid out for the other two uh, visits on... They get to the, the viewers. They get to the viewers. Oh. Right? I don't think I'll come back then. Don't give it to then. the people. You, you've got a good <laughs> enough team anyway. You know, it's think, of the, think of the poor people with, like, gold cards in July. All right, call me Jesus then. <laughs> um, but yeah, Harry Maguire is the correct answer. It's, yeah. I kind of, like, there's one side of it where he doesn't want to disrupt things as soon as he comes in and kind of change things. But at the same time, a change is probably what's needed. Um... So maybe you'll give it a few games, and if it's going badly, you can just flip it to somebody else. Yeah, yeah I, th I think he was he was asked the question in the press conference, and it was the right question to ask, but there's only really one way he can answer it without kind of destroying mm. any team cohesion he might have. So yeah. we'll, we'll see. We'll see by the end of the season. Yeah. You'll, you'll win the title, won't you? Well, yeah, I mean, we beat Liverpool 4-0 today, so, you know... <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was just waiting for the uh, preseason. The Bangkok Cup is a massive yeah. trophy, mate. Okay. For yeah. like, like in terms of like diameter and size and stuff. Yeah, it's like the Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> question before is for five hundred FIFA points. It's probably actually the first FIFA question. To be fair, uh, how many degrees does the new ball roll cut skill move turn? The One hundred and eighty. Could at least get the options. No. Up. Uh, <laughs> You did this last time. You just <laughs> covered it and disrupted my uh, duration of the video. Oh, sorry. He, he, he I, I, I don't, I don't know. Can I have some options, please? <laughs> <laughs> he came in big with the most intelligent FIFA community member, and so now he's got to prove himself yeah. by answering before he gets the answers. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's 180. Well done. Uh, yeah, it's quite quite a decent skill move. Um, obviously, the patch only came out today, didn't it? So I've not really had a chance to properly try it out. Is that the next question? Because um, the answer is yes. Do we move on? We get, is that, was that for a thousand fee points? No. Question number five. It's for 750 fee points. Beep. Joe Cole received a Ligue 1 shapeshifter card, but which Ligue 1 team did he play for? Is it Marseille, Lille, PSG, or Lyon? Lille, isn't it? I think it's Lille, yeah, because yeah. I think we had this conversation the On other street, day. Yeah, literally, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's Lille. And that is the correct answer, well done. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, I, I, it's nice that they moved him at least, but it's like, same with the Lundberg. They didn't really play in no, those other leagues no, that no. they've got the card for. It's like, just for the sake of FIFA, I guess, that they've uh, given them a different league, but they didn't actually, like, excel in those other leagues. Way um, Going back to the old jokes. <laughs> and to bring oh. it back in. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of glad with that they have done that with someone mm. like Cole, because he gives... Uh, sort of interesting yeah, links with the English yeah. players, but also then being a good link for the other Liga players. Someone like Lundberg makes no sense to me because yeah. there's not many MLS players going, well, I have to get him into my team. Like, I don't get it, but hey. Question number six is for 1,000 FIFA points. You get this one correct, you're guaranteed 1,000. Obviously, you've got all three lifelines as well. Which of the following Premier League strikers transfer fee is the highest this summer? Is it Darwin Nunes? Erlen Haaland, Richarlison, or Gabriel Jesus? Yeah, Jesus is about 40 million. Yeah. Nunes was 67 million. Yeah. I Haaland was Harland. 80 million. I think it was lower than that. Okay, then it might be Richarlison at like 70 million euros or whatever it is. This is in pounds. Oh, okay. So I think Darwin was. Yeah, Darwin was mid 60s. Yeah. I think that the transfer fee for Haaland was 60 million euros. Okay, so it's definitely not him and it's definitely not Jesus. And then it just comes down to Richarlison. Wasn't that 70 million? I didn't think it was that much. Okay, I, 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 I would probably go with Darwin Nunes. I think that's, especially with add-ons, I think Nunes is, is the highest one. Yeah, I, I, I'll go with that. Uh, okay, I'll risk it. I'll risk I've it. got a sneaky suspicion it might be Richardson, but I'm not like me if we get this wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can blame Josh. Uh, first time on the show, doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, exactly. Um, Jesus, as you said, was uh, under fifty million. Oh, it's not good uh, when he runs through them. <laughs> Forty-seven. 
Erlen Haaland um, was 54. Hey. And Richarlison was 52, and you do have the correct answer. It is Darwin Nunes, uh, 60, 67 uh, is the number that I've got. But yeah. obviously these things, are, they could, like, there's multiple different sources, but there's a good uh, extra 10 million on top for Nunes. So Happy days. Let's go. Hopefully that's right. <laughs> But yeah, you are guaranteed a thousand now, so that's good. Oh, we, we're not we're, we're not guaranteed anything. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, you, you're guaranteeing the audience something. Personal pride. That's what we're, we're playing for here. Eh? <laughs> yep, that is it. Question number seven is for 2,000 FIFA points. Which of these winter wild cards have transferred to Nottingham Forest this summer? Is it Graham, Niakate, Tarabat, or Imbolo? I believe it's Niakate, isn't it? It is Niakate. Yeah. They got it for a steal as yeah. well. Banging price. 10 million or something, wasn't it? 8 million? Yeah, with like, th I think it was yeah. even below 10 million with like 3 million in add ons. Like, that was going to make any difference. They're, they're making some moves, Nottingham Forest. They are indeed, yeah. And that is the correct answer. Well done, yeah. Done. Like, painfully for me as a Derby fan, painfully some good business. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes uh, at the end of the season. Which of the following positions was foot captain Marco Royce? Was it a right wing? A right mid, a cam, or a centre forward? I think he was think... centre forward. What were you going to say? I thought he was cam. Before I heard the answers, I thought he was a cam. I think it was his next card that was a centre forward. I don't think he's had a card since foot captains until the right wing SBC. Because he didn't get a tots. Oh, I think it's I think it's centre forward. We can we can chance around maybe at a fifty fifty and see if it will split yeah, the difference. I'm, I'm it's down, definitely I'm, not I'm... right side. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, he's not a winger, he's hundred percent either a centre forward or a cam, so yeah, we can put a fifty fifty. Let's get me number generator. Get the cam and the centre forward in there. <laughs> <laughs> so they have done the fifty fifty and the two running answers are right mid and centre forward. Okay. Centre forward. Yeah, centre forward. Yeah, my bad for wasting. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. And that is the correct answer. Well done. Yeah, it's better, better safe than sorry. Obviously, it's only like one position change at the end yeah. of the day. Um, yeah. Like most people probably moved him down or moved him up anyway. Like it's not actually like what what formation actually uses a centre forward that people actually use. Three, That's three, a good four. Question. Uh, four, three, three, five. Five. Yeah, whichever one has the centre forward in. Yeah. I, is that, that the only one with a natural no, no, centre four, forward? Four, four, one, one has it as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's only like a couple of formations and people don't naturally pick those to actually build yeah. their team in any way. I know this one. Which of these shapeshifters have these face card stats? Pepe, isn't is it? Kante, or Ramos, Kimpembe, CDM, or Pepe? <laughs> yeah, I packed him yesterday. <laughs> Definitely Pepe. And that is the correct answer. Well done. Um, yeah, he's ridiculously good card it's just a shame about the league really um not actually use the cards is, is he any good I've used yeah him. He, he he is he is a lot of fun I, i've used him at striker and in midfield and he is he's still got all the aggression from being a center back but he's just yeah he's tenacious all over the place you can literally mm. play him anywhere and portuguese is actually a really good nation to link now yeah. there's so many good portuguese players that even on seven chem i think I think, what is he, like 45k yeah, or something he's like that? So he's cheap, amazing. Yeah. Question number 10 is for 5,000 FIFA points. How many different different special cards has Bakaya Sacco had since FIFA 21? Is it 3, 5, 7, and 9? He's had future, future stars. He's had, he's had two informs this year or three informs yeah, this is year? It, is it special card types or special cards? So different special cards. So if he's had like three informs, that's three. Okay. Yeah, so he had the 80, the 80, the 84, the 86, the 87 this year. But he had the tots objective. Plus the tots. That's it for this year. Wait, does his gold card count as well? No, no, okay. that's, that's non-special. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the stipulations. <laughs> um, uh, so he's had yeah, four this right year. The here. Then since FIFA 21, yeah. Yeah, so this FIFA. Yeah, I'm trying to think one. what he had last year. Yeah. Was it, he had a Future Stars, but wasn't his Future Stars when it was those white cards in FIFA 20? Who would have been? Because there was an Arsenal Future Stars last year, I'm sure of it. 
Oh, yes, he had that thing with... Oh, that was in Kethia and Smith Row, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what we think... We're thinking for this year, three informs and the for, tots. For this year, definitely. Okay. Um, Did he have informs last year? I would have thought so, yeah. It's just so whether or if not... If we said one inform... It's whether he had a future stars last year or not. No, but then six wasn't even an option, was it? It was five, yeah, seven, Yeah, but what nine. I'm saying is, I, I don't know how many informs he had last year. So if he's definitely got one, then if he had a future stars last year, that's six. And I don't think he'll have had enough to get us to nine. So it's either going to be five or seven. If only we had a 50-50. Yeah, that would be nice. You ask the audience or phone a friend. So the fe what was the Future Stars design last year? Was that the really like It was the dark bluey purple? one and he did have a Future Stars because it was insane. It was like all the pros were using it in their team in the early stages. Then I think it's seven. Before and I this think, year. I think he That's must have had two informs last year. Because we, we, we're year, saying he's definitely remember. got one inform, one Future Stars, spots, and then three informs from this year. I did, I did three and added four. So that that must he must have had another because didn't he have a left back in form last year? I genuinely don't remember. I, I don't even remember. All I remember is I know he had the future stars card that was white, and then he definitely had the future stars card again last year because it was brilliant. Future stars that was white. Was yeah. Oh, sorry, not future stars. Is that what was footies? It? No, it wasn't the footies. It was the uh, summer. Yeah, summer of peace. Yeah, that one. He had that card. That was brilliant. That was. So yeah, his first future stars card then would have been last year. Um, okay, I'm 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 set on seven then. I'll, unless I'll you think that. there's two extra. I, I, two I definitely don't points. think it's nine, but like, I don't remember any other special cards he had last year, so I could I, it could easily be five. I think um, I, I he definitely had an inform last year. I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to chance it with seven. Okay, I will go with seven then. Lock it okay. in. Being rather kind, spacing it out, giving you the uh, <laughs> two gap. Just makes it obviously with FIFA 21, you just try to remember like those odd informs and whatnot. Um, you got this year bang on with the four, uh, four special cards, obviously three informs and the uh, team of the season. Did have the future star last year, and he did have two uh, informs last year, and he got the correct answer. Well done. Well done. Well done. One right mid and one left back, Fair as enough. Josh said. So, it's the left back that I remembered. Right. I, I, don't, he, I can't even see it in my mind right now. I think he had something like 60 defending or something terrible. 65 defending. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's just okay, isn't it? When was, when was that released? Team of the Week 33, so it was a good way through the game as well. It's not like anyone's actually using them at left back no. at that stage. Question 11. This is 6,000 FIFA points. You do have two lifelines left. Which other sport did Lev Yashin compete at a professional level? Ice hockey, isn't it? Is it? Sorry, Is it sorry. long jump? <laughs> Just cut you out there so they don't hear it. <laughs> Is it long jump, basketball, ice hockey, or baseball? Uh, you were in there quickly with ice hockey, so uh, I, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty caught. Cool. <laughs> I, I just might be wrong, you know. Or, or are you just, you know, stereotyping yeah, Russians? I might be, I might really be, badly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's possible. I know Petr Cech is a uh, is a uh, is big on the old ice hockey, isn't he? Um, I, I'm happy to use a lifeline. I, uh, you, I, you, were, you said ice hockey early enough. I think we've got. I think no, if we're going to risk wrong, it, I'm going to look like a mug. Let's do it. Let's do a lifeline. <laughs> oh, I, don't waste, baseball, I don't want to waste them though. Baseball, ice hockey, basketball, and long jump. It's definitely not baseball, and it's definitely not long jump level. And like, is, there was professional long jumpers in the 60s and 70s. I don't think existed. And then so it comes down to basketball, which actually is a huge sport in Russia, isn't it? It's a huge sport in like Eastern Europe. Yeah, I'm, it is big in Russia, but I don't know. I I think if we want to go far, I think we've got to hold on to our lifelines. If this is wrong, I look like I'm the number two most intelligent guy in the FIFA community, don't I? And that's just not no. What we'll I take. We'll take. Life. We'll take equal blame for it. Yeah. But right. if you're right, if you're right, you cement yourself in there. You know. Yeah, I do a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll say ice hockey then. Lock it in. Do it. You did say it before the uh, question was finished. <laughs> <laughs> I 
wasn't long jump. Obviously, didn't didn't know how to jump. Um, not baseball. And you'd have the cracked hand sitting side. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. There's a there's a. I think there's like one or two pictures floating around. Um, he won like the nineteen. He was the goalkeeper, wasn't he? There as well. Yeah. yeah Did he yeah, wear a flat so. cap doing that as well? <laughs> I've had it under a bit his of protection. <laughs> yeah, it won like the nineteen fifty three Soviet Cup. I think something like that for uh, Dynamo Moscow. Question number 12 is for 12,000 feet points. You'd have two lifelines remaining. And of course, this is to guarantee the 12K. Which of the following countries was Tiago born in? Is it Spain, Italy, Brazil, or Germany? Born in Brazil, wasn't he, with his brother, Rafinha, who's also Brazilian and was born in Brazil. Okay, I, I know that I know that Rafinha is Brazilian. Um, I... It's one of those where I don't know if it's a trick question. If it's the idea is you know that Rafinha's his brother and they're Brazilian. But actually, they're Italian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. You do have asked the audience or uh, phone a friend if you want to guarantee that 12k. Oh, I don't, um, I don't know. I, like, Brazil seems like the right answer to me. I'm, I'm happy to use the lifeline. But then again, Alcantara doesn't sound. That's a bit it more like Spanish, Spanish to me. Yeah. Oh, just Tiago and Rafinha are all like relatively Spanish. But Spain, Spain was an option, was it? Spain was an option. Spain, Italy, Brazil, Germany. Turns out they're all German in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How good are they at pens? <laughs> Quite good, I think. <sighs> Do you want to use a lifeline here? No, no, and, and here, here's why I don't, right? Because they were both... The reason why they could change to Brazilian nationality is because they were born in Brazil, even though they're, like, from Spain. If that makes any sense. Okay. Right, because, mm, if, because but, they've got if Spanish they've got, names. If they've got Brazilian mum or dad then they could represent brazil right i i i i think i remember reading the fact that because he was born in brazil that's why he could change his nationality to brazilian like way back when he went the brazilian basically um was he but i or, thought he was sorry, always spanish sorry, wasn't he yeah, sorry so it was that he changed to spain not changed to Spain, but like it's effectively because he was born in like Rafinha at the very least was born in Brazil. That doesn't mean that Thiago was born in Brazil. We can use the lifeline if you want. I think I want to use a lifeline, okay? Because I feel like it's a trick question. What are you going to use? Phone a friend or ask the audience? I. Who would we call that would know yeah, the that's, answer? That's, to what this? that's what exactly. <laughs> and if we are Chani, audience, maybe. Yeah, Chani maybe Chani. Know. Yeah, Chani might know actually. Give uh, a message. We. Yeah. See if see if we get Chani. All right, Chani. We've got a question for one million dollars. Yeah. Is it is it alright if you just record your end, Chani? Oh, yeah, your, his audio like, will be on yes. mine as well. All right. Okay. As long as, as long as it's there. Um. Which of the following countries was Tiago born in? Is it Spain, Italy, Brazil, or Germany? Alcantara. Alcantara. This is... I've got this in my head as well about Italy, because I just think Fair Spain enough. and Brazil are too obvious. Fair enough. You locking in Italy? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah oh, let's do it. It's Chani's fault. I will be surprised if this is right, to be fair. It's Chani's fault otherwise. Not Germany, just had to think of a uh, fourth nation, and obviously they're, they're nearby to Spain and Italy. Um, <laughs> his brother was born in Brazil. I knew, I told you he was Tiago, born in Brazil. But, but Tiago wasn't. Okay. Ah, I would have been wrong. He represents Spain internationally. Yeah. But Italy is the correct answer, well done. Well well done. done. It's let's it's go, Chani! Like, so how the hell did how that, that happen? How did he get born in Italy? His father played for Lise in Italy, or Lecce, sorry. Um, so obviously when, when he was there, uh, that's where he was born. It's like Harland was born in Leeds, um, yeah, yeah. when his dad was playing there. So 
Well done. Oh, You're going to cool. the 12k. Thank you very much, nice. Chaddy. Yeah, cheers, Chaddy, pal. Three questions then to get the 100k. Next I would have been wrong. Is, uh, I would have been wrong. I was yeah. right. What, I was right what, about what my were you theory. About Brazil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because my I knew Rafinha was born in Brazil because I'd read up mm -hmm. on it before, and so I just put yeah. two and two together and got sponges. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. So yeah. yeah. Question number thirteen. It's so twenty-five thousand FIFA points. Which of the following FIFA titles did Tim Cahill last have a FIFA card? Two thousand four. That is your answer. Tim Cahill. Yeah. Is it FIFA 17, FIFA 18, FIFA 19, or FIFA 20? It's not 2004. <laughs> no. Slightly after that. I don't know if he was even in England in 2004. I mean, this this year he's got a FIFA card, doesn't he? But I know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, but um, uh, we're, we're talking about the last one. <laughs> hey, if 2004 was there, though, that would have been a shout, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, you'd have, you'd have cemented your place certainly as the old man of FIFA, and maybe not the cleverest oh. person. Two thousand four oh. was my king, mate, Thierry Henry. Mm. Right, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> so, before he had his hero card, when was Tim Cahill's last FIFA card? Was it FIFA seventeen, FIFA eighteen, FIFA nineteen, or FIFA twenty? Right, he had a FIFA seventeen blue card that was also the league SBC card, and so for Oz, for Australian league. Yeah. Right. I don't remember anything after that. That's all I. That's all I've got. So you're on FIFA 17. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember any other like version of him anywhere else. Basically, I think he was at. He was at somewhere like Melbourne, wasn't he? He was at one of those. He was at like a city group club. Oh. You were uh, asked the audience remaining if you want to get their uh, opinion. I think we're going to need an ask the audience because I remember that blue card, but I don't remember if there's one after that. And that's the thing. Don't you think Cahill is the sort of person where you would remember? You would remember because he wouldn't. He wouldn't have got just some rando card because he's Cahill. He would have been given a special card. Yeah, but then it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have just been a league SBC player, right? So, are you saying it's not FIFA 17, even though we remember it from there? No, no, no. I'm saying because I don't... Well, because I, I think because I don't re remember anything post FIFA 17 that is FIFA 17. But I'm more than happy to, uh, uh, to ask the audience if you want. Yeah, I think I think ask the audience, because I'm, I'm not sure. Right, so they do have the percentages back in from the ask the audience. FIFA 17 with 35.9%, FIFA 18 with 45.7, FIFA 19 with 13.2, and FIFA 20 with 5.2. So what are you going to go for? Oh, so it's between 17 and 18 then. Mm. Wait, what are the percentages again? So 35.9 for FIFA 17 and 45.7 for FIFA 18. So I, a, I think but, FIFA 17, but do we just trust the audience? A See, I, I remember the FIFA 17 card. Yeah. But that makes me think there'd be one more after it. Because it, it wasn't an end of an era. Yeah. Two, two thousand. Although uh, they weren't doing end column. of an eras that long ago, were they really? No, I, I don't know. If, I mean, they had the premium SBCs, didn't they, that were effectively the end of the era cards. They yeah. had like Dirk Howell and, and uh, like Fernando Torres and players like that. I, I think... I think we trust the audience. Okay. And then it's their fault and not yeah, ours. Yeah, no, exactly. and I'm absolutely, absolutely exactly. fine with that. <laughs> you take all the blame away. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on. Slope shoulders. <laughs> Wasn't FIFA 20. He did uh, retire in uh, 2019. But he was playing in the uh, Indian Super League at that point. Okay. Uh, it wasn't FIFA 19. You thought it was FIFA 17 with that uh, blue card. Yeah. The SBC. But FIFA 18 is the correct answer. Well done. Uh, Fair enough. Up to 25,000 now. Um, well done, the audience. Form that yeah. Year. Isn't that and mad, though, as well? Like, the split on the uh, RC audience as well was, like... Yeah, was pretty yeah, tight. Intense. Yeah. I, I, I do not... I can't, like, in my mind's eye, I can't see his FIFA 18 it's, card. It's not a great card. I'm not going to lie. It is just, a you know, one of those informs that will get thrown away. Uh, 68 pace, 77 dribbling, and 82 shots, you know. Hey, that would have been all right in FIFA 18. Yeah. <laughs> and in fairness, that that was team of the week number four. <laughs> so, 
literally right at the start of the game. Um, but yeah, after after that Melbourne part of his career, he went back to England to play for Millwall, but never got a card there. Okay. Um, just kind of triggered a few Millwall fans. I do remember that for sure. I thought it was Cahill. Yeah, Cahill. Oh, that's not sure. Not Luke Shaw, no. I don't remember that for sure. I do remember that. <laughs> Adam for <Millwall>. sure. <laughs> what? Uh, Brilliant. I am the right, question master the- now. <laughs> <laughs> On to question number 14 for 50,000 FIFA points. What position was Roberto Firmino's first Liverpool card? Was it a cam, a centre forward, a striker, or a right mid? My gut reaction was cam. So he came, when he, he was, when he he was he came at Hoffenheim, from Hoffenheim. Wasn't he a winger there? He was, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would be down for the right mid. But my gut, my gut instinct is cam. Can take the twenty five k, of course, or risk it. Nah, we're not. We've not come this far to, yeah. to boss out now. Come <laughs> I on. Gotta, I got at least. I got at least. You know, offer it. Oh yeah, I, like right mid is sticking in my head as like a, a non rare. Yeah, I, yeah, and I see it. But you know, even back when he transferred, they gave position changes to some of the transferred cards. So that his first Liverpool card, even in the same year, might still have been a cam. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think it's centre. I don't think right it's centre forward or striker. No, I don't think it's centre forward or striker. I don't know why right mid's in my head because he didn't. I, if he was going to be anywhere, he'd be right wing. He never played right mid for Hoffenheim. But they used to, EA were terrible, especially with the Bundesliga. Like they had Herman the German as a right mid forever, and he always played right wing. Mm. I, I I would be con- absolutely had to- content with going right mid. He, so he had a team of the season in, I want to say, 13. That was definitely a cam at Hoffenheim. And he was like 84 that, rated. Oh, I do remember that, actually. Like the blue card with the little gold yeah. bits on. Yeah. 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 And so I think if he's already a cam at Hoffenheim... I, I don't. I don't know if I want to risk it for a right mid. But it, uh, yeah, the, the 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 reason why I think it might not be right mid is because it's the only wide position. If he had like cam centre forward right wing right mid, I'd be like, okay, now I've got a question here. But is he going to give us three central positions and then oh also right mid? Yeah, but yeah, but also is he going to give you three central positions and then one that's like well it's definitely not that. Hmm. That is the question. Because surely yeah. Cam centre forward striker, kind of like with the Royce question earlier, it's like difficult to determine which one it is. Yeah. I, I as I say, for me, I, I would if if I was just here by myself, I would say Cam. Um but I, I, I I think Cam. Um you seem to be flitting between right mid and Cam, but I, I think Yeah, but it's just because I do remember him having a right mid card. I just know it wasn't oh well I don't know it wasn't. I just don't remember it being a Liverpool card. I think because of his tots being at Cam while still in the German league, I, my my votes on Cam, but I'll leave it yeah. up to you. No, I, I, I said let's lock in Cam. Let's lock in Cam. Okay, 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 okay. Wasn't striker. I did get a striker card eventually in uh, FIFA 17 for Liverpool and FIFA 18. Obviously, he's uh, most famous for that centre forward role. Yep, he is yeah. these days. He is these days, but uh, it wasn't that. So you're down to the cam or the right mid, the two that you were uh, conundrum over. <laughs> Luckily for you, it is cam. You do have the correct answer. Um, he's actually never had a right mid card. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I threw that one as a outside. Yeah, he had a, I think, yeah, left wing in form. But other than that, it's all been down the middle. Um, but I thought right mid was quite a out, out of there one, you know, back when he was at Hoffenheim, the kind of thing. Because I thought it was a wide card. Um, but, you know, it was a cam. I, do, I remember him having a wide card at Liverpool early on. Mm. I just didn't know if it was his base. Yeah, yeah, he had that left wing eighty four inform man. I, I, I that that Hoffenheim card, the the FIFA twelve uh, like card type, I can literally see right mid in my brain, even though I'm looking <laughs> yeah. at it now and it's a cam. I can I I can just see it as a right mid. 
How weird is that? Footbed or footwear is just lying to you. Yeah. No, it was actually. It was actually. It was, didn't that, that happened with, when I was on the wrong. first time, right? When I was right about yeah. the position of um, uh, De Bruyne on the left mid spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was actually. You were right uh, in the end. But uh, footmen's oh. generations are just, just wrong. Anything before like FIFA 18. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they just basically make Who, it. Who's the it, best one then? Uh, footwear's for generations. Here's your question for 100,000 FIFA points. Which of these countries do not have any FIFA card on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team? Is it A, Antigua and Barbuda, B, Sao Tome and Principe, C, Haiti, or D, Chinese Tapai? I think it's B. It's So it's definitely not Chinese Taipei. Yeah, it's definitely not it's, Haiti either. It's definitely not Haiti. It was Antigua and Barbuda. They definitely have, I could see the flag, it's like black cross things uh red like it's there it's b are you sao tome and principe yeah i'm not 100 million percent certain but oh. that's my instinct who's do you, can you think of the player from antigua and barbuda isn't uh, isn't their flag like blue or is that barbados that's barbados isn't it oh uh, like uh, what well, i think it's, it's either a crossing or it's, it's like a almost like a question mark or a hook with a black and red Top of, like top half black, bottom half red, with like some weird like hook in it. Isn't that Angola? Angola? Nah. <laughs> Maybe. Thanks. I'm pretty sure that is Angola. That flag you're talking about. The hammer and sickle on it. Yeah, it's like a sickle with a uh, with black and red. Yeah. yeah. But, so, but even still, I still think it's B. And I would like to win. Who wants to be a millionaire at the risk of losing it? Even if I'm wrong, and I'll just take I'll just take full responsibility if I'm wrong. But I think it's B. I Oh, but I see. I, I think it's Antigua and Barbuda. I cannot think of their flag, whereas I know the Sao Tome and Principe flag. What is and it? I, and I, it's I, the blue, blue and light blue one, isn't it? I think I've seen a player from Sao Tome and Principe in the game doing like bronze pack method. And I can't remember an Antiguan player ever. Can take the 50,000. Fifty thousand fee points. That's a lot of fee points. That is four people get twelve k. What about the spares? Well, that's you know what person might get a bit. What can you what can you get with five hundred fee points? <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm, we can walk away with the fifty thousand if you want. Has anyone ever won it? Oh before? no, we 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 are we have yeah. got to we have got to get it's fifty fifty. We've Wait, got somebody's to won this. it. Yeah, Danny Aaron's has won it twice. And, who who is uh, his partner? Uh, Pi the first time and Raz the second. Fair enough. Yep. But he's the only person that's won it. Yep. Got to try then. Got to try. I I think <laughs> I think there is a card from Sao Tome and Principe. I, I I don't know why. I don't know why it's sticking in my head. I I, I, I will I will trust your judgment. We can go with A. Because I, I couldn't tell you. And if I'm right, I'll never get invited back be. again. <laughs> I think it's Antigua and Barbuda because I cannot think of a player. I cannot think of the flag even. All right. A, let's lock it in. Antigua and Barbuda. That's correct. I just wrote the two names down on my piece of paper. <laughs> I was just staring at them. <laughs> Wasn't Haiti. No. You're right to rule them out. Same with the uh, Chinese uh, Taipei, or Taipei, however you say it. Um, that's a very, I think there's only one player from that, but it very sticks out there for like yeah. sort of white and then there's like yeah. a gold thing on it. Um, I think Bateson actually uses him on his bronze bench. I think that's what, why I remember that. Um, he got down to the two and places. Um, one of you are going one way and one were going the other. And you should have gone with the Panthers because uh, Saltom and Principe is the correct answer. And you drop back down to 12,000. That's devastating, that is. That is devastating. I thought you were there for a minute. I thought you had it. Oh, Josh is. <laughs> I, wait, wait, who's the player from Antigua and. There's uh, Marlon Romero from Portsmouth, I think. Let me just double check that was right. He's like oh, silver. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. There's, there's a. Red bit on the side, and then there's a sunset with a black bit, and then it's quite an advanced flag to be honest. 
All on what? Um, oh god, uh, yeah, there's Ro three Ro players Romeo. in the game. Wait, how, wait, did you say Portsmouth? Yeah, Portsmouth, uh, 71 rated, right wing back. I know that flag as well. Oh, that is terrible. There's three of them. Yeah, I need to see what the flag is compared to what I thought it was in my head. Yeah, it's, it, I think it's red and black. It's got red and black there. in it. Yeah, it just doesn't have the sickle because you were thinking of Angola. Well, so initially I said like a crossing. Has it got like a cross? No, it's like a sunset. What's that? The flag you were thinking of? <laughs> I can't. I can't find the player, mate. What's his name? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll just link you in the Discord. Thanks. Well, that's why you're number one, though, isn't it? <laughs> that <laughs> that is why you're not number wrong. one. You're not wrong. If you went with that, you know. Oh uh, yeah, uh, you know, got too big I for think... my boots. I can only apologize. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is one of them though. The hundred. I thought that was a good hundred k question though, because it is relatively doable. It's not like those, you know, aggression ones that I sometimes have to throw in because I can't think of anything. Um, but that one was like, if you've done like BPM or even like just no flags, well, um, as Nap does. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I got it. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Antigua and Barbuda had players. Aren't they like they're not even lowest? They're like state shells are ranked below them, aren't they? Like they're not even lowest ranked on the. Yeah, they they like and uh, players who play from the team I support, FC United, have played for Antigua and Barbuda in the past because you know th there's just a a large population that have heritage there that live in the UK. I should have just gone with that thought. Oh no! There you go. There you go. Oh. Yeah, don't, it get, don't get upset, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 12,000 feet, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good start. It's a good start. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, guys, did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you do drop a sub to Josh and Nep if you haven't already, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye.